I uh, just real quick. I just, you know, obviously I thought Connor Nolan was lights out. I mean, the guy had everything working. Uh, I guess really until about you know the last inning that he that he started. I don't remember what it was. I guess it might have been the eighth when we pulled him. I don't remember, but he uh, maybe the seventh. And I think he just got a little bit tired. But man, he was spotting up his fastball in. He could throw it away. Started mixing in that slider and, and some change up. Then he had the regular curveball. Uh, just he, he pitched and, uh, you know, right around 90 miles an hour, 91. That board's never always right. You know, it's um, but he was he was good. And he gave us a chance on a Sunday when we didn't have a lot of we didn't have a lot of experienced arms that were ready to go today. Um, and I'll let you guys maybe ask me about that in a minute. But as far as just the team hanging in there, uh, I mean, we didn't have a good day at the plate. Um, We've been driving a lot of runs today. We're up one nothing. We got runners second, third, one out. We don't score. Happened again in the game, and you know, as a coach, when you see that, and as a fan, you're you're like, that's going to come back and hurt us. You know, we needed to punch in two or three, and you know, we got hit by a pitch and got the base loaded, one out, and we're up two. We didn't score another run. We didn't do a double play. So uh, it just seemed like that uh, maybe today was Tennessee's day, and. I mean, they, they scored a run with a runner on second, two outs, and a tough hop on Kinley uh, to tie it, I think. And then uh, I don't remember. And then I think the other two runs they scored were both with two outs. And uh, give them credit. They fought and, and, and hung in the game. And, and uh, you know, obviously we got a huge hit by, by Franklin in the, in the bottom of the ninth to, to tie it up and left the bat. Obviously, we knew it wasn't going to be caught. We just didn't know if it was going to quite get over the fence with the way the wind was blowing. But he kept it low enough and really drove it. He stays through the ball really well the other way. And he had a, he had a double down the left field line, an oppo home run. And, uh, you know, uh, then you then you look at the middle guys. You know, Marshall Denton did a nice job getting us a couple outs. We were trying to get at least two outs, which we got, to get to Cronin to try to save him some pitches, get him a four-out save. Well, kind of backfired when they, when they singled up the middle. And then uh, – and then we tied it and we brought in Trest, you know, true freshman. Uh, that's kind of what we had out there and, you know, mostly those guys and thought he had a great inning. And uh, throwing the ball hard, throwing a few breaking balls, spotted it up, struck out the second hitter. It's really good to see. So uh, proud of the freshmen, the young guys, and then obviously the huge hit by Opitz, who hadn't had a great series offensively, but he's got a knack for getting big hits. And we kind of sensed that he was going to get it. I guess what Vermillion, Costa Shock, who else? Keep going. You're all yeah. So Costi through Friday, warmed up yesterday a lot, came in the game, threw a couple pitches, we picked a guy off, we got him out of the game. He was a little bit sore, you know, because he pitched the day before. We're still trying to rest him. He was unavailable today. Cops pitched Friday, got up twice yesterday, because the game was a little crazy there, got loose, waited. Things calm down. We go score a bunch of runs. Then something happens. Uh, he was unavailable today. And so let's go to Vermillion. I don't know. Right before the game, he says he's a little sore and he's not going to pitch. Well, I was planning on pitching two or three innings possibly. So when you start marking the names off the board, it starts to get real young. And uh, we thought, well, you know, let's, let's hopefully score some runs. And we had our opportunities. We didn't do it. And it really just, uh, we put the ball in the hands of a couple freshmen, or a freshman, and he, he gave us another opportunity in the 10th, and, and, and we did it. Dave, this seven straight SEC wins, like <coughs> pretty good teams all ranked. How do you feel about that win streak? Well, I feel great about it. I mean, because you got to take wins when you can get them. I mean, you never know when it's going to flip on you. You know, you, you have injuries, you have guys going to little slumps, you know, teams hit balls that are, you know, that flares and just. Every thing, it's the game all isn't always fair. Uh, you know, you can make pitches and you don't get a call. You hit the ball in the nose, it goes right at somebody. So whenever you get a chance to win, you win a game. And fortunately, uh, we came back and won today. And uh, you know, just put ourselves in a, in a good position down the stretch. You know, we still have, you know, midweek game. We're heading to Kentucky, and that's really all all I want to talk about is this week, the next week. I'm already thinking about it, and. Uh, you got to find some guys to, to get Grambling out on Tuesday, and I'm sure they're going to be awfully young. Um, so, and then we'll we'll head over to Kentucky after that. To get back-to-back starts from Connor and, and Patrick, <coughs> the way you have the last two weeks, how big is that going for 
Well, it's huge for them personally, for their confidence. Connor's had two really good outings in a row, and so's Wicklander. I mean, they look like weekend starters to me, you know, and they're both probably 19 years old. And, you know, that's great. You can kind of see that. Maybe maybe we can keep Scroggins in the pen. He'll be available next week. He wanted to pitch this weekend, and we wouldn't let him. I didn't even put him on the roster. Uh, he wasn't happy about it, but he gets it. We're trying to take care of him. And luckily, some guys stepped up. So hopefully, he'll be back. And some of these guys that got a little tired can rest for a couple of days, and they'll be ready to go, you know, by Friday. But for Manny, you know, is it just sore arm, elbow? No, it's 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 the front, which is a spot that usually you don't worry about too much. You know, it's usually the back of the shoulder or the elbow. So I haven't even talked to him. I was told this, and so was my pitching coach, about five, six, seven minutes before the first pitch of the game. Yeah, I think he's just got soreness. I mean, he's. Uh, you know, it's, it's probably his arm slot a little bit. It's just, you know, it, it is what it is. Maybe throwing too much. I don't know. Just Martin's play as far as that one, because they get they score there. I guess and you don't have it. The ball in the hole. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was a good play. They had a runner on second, I think, at the time, and I don't know if he would have scored. He might he might have scored if the ball, uh, if Trevor didn't pick it. You know, if he kept running around, which I'm sure he was. So, yeah, it was a great play and. Uh, showed some really good range and takes pretty good arm strength to get it over there from there, but he just got rid of it. Um, There's a shortstop who hit it. He's fairly quick. So, you know, he played pretty good defense. I mean, Kenley, that ball was hit hard, but it, it was an in-between hop. He either needed to back up a step or, you know, try to charge it because it was, wasn't a short hop and it wasn't a long hop. It was an in-between hop, and it, it, you know, it came up hard on him. And Jack's done an incredible job fielding the baseball this year. And, uh you know, things happen. So, uh, you know, just a really good job defensively. About his game offensively because he's three for four with a home run. Can yeah, you know, he's he's really done a good job this year of just continuing to be patient at the plate and, and work the count a little bit till he gets a pitch that he likes. And I, I may be wrong, but I think the home run come on, came with two strikes. I may be, I may be wrong there, um, thinking it was. But it might have been 2-1. It might have been 2-2. Two, two, but uh, – I just like the, his approach. Uh, sometimes uh, with runners in scoring position, we've talked to him about being more uh, aggressive early, look for a pitch up or look for a certain pitch, and if you get it and hit it, and he's, he's starting to do that a little bit more, and, and his RBI count's starting to climb. The last two weekends, you know, sweeping the last two weekends, now you got a two-game lead in the West. Uh, just how big has that been? I don't know. You know, I guess we'll know in about three weeks. But, you know, it's, it's, it's nice to know that, uh, you know, that, that we've – you know, put ourselves in a good position because everybody's going to beat everybody. You know, the teams behind us play each other. We play the teams that are right behind us, one of them, any, or two of them. And, uh, you know, so we go, to, we go to Kentucky, and I wasn't going to talk about anything after that. It's the West. But, you know, we got to get through this week. You know, this is our last week of school. We've got to keep them focused on that, get through that. And then uh, we go to Kentucky, and then when we come back, they're in finals. And it always seems like we're playing LSU in finals. And, uh, you know, try to get – once they get that behind them, hopefully they'll, uh, you know, they'll be, be excited to, to finish school and just be able to maybe concentrate on a little baseball. You get to ask me about Burton last night. There's another guy. Mm-hmm. I don't think he pitched in an SEC game. Right. right. Well, he'd been wild, and you know, he, he had a good fall. We thought we thought he was going to be one of our better freshmen, and uh, his stuff is good. He's, he's got a really good arm. He's starting to get his breaking ball going, and. We put him on the roster really for Scroggins, uh, but he's probably going to take somebody else's spot and uh, put him and Scroggins on the roster. I think that's probably the way we're going to go with it. Dave, um, going down North Little Rock, it seems like no matter how well you guys are playing and who and who you're playing, it's always a dog fight. Yeah, I know. You close. thanks. I can't. Even, thanks. I won't be able to sleep very good tonight. Now I, I need to. But it's a. Uh, it always is. It's uh It's a big ballpark. A lot of times the wind's blowing in. Uh, the crowds are incredible. They have fun. It's kind of neat for the players. Uh, but I, I, I would like to, to score some runs. It seems like we go down there and it's three to two, two to one, four to three, or I mean, one year I think we won seven to six. And uh, we've been behind in those games a lot. And it seems like the teams that come in are excited to play in front of those crowds. And you know, the longer we let them stay in the game, the more suspenseful it gets. And uh, Hopefully we'll go down there and play well. You know, I'll, I'll put a couple of guys in the lineup that maybe don't play all the time, and hopefully they'll bring some energy to the game and uh, get some big hits for us, and hopefully we'll pitch well. You guys have played down there like eight, eight years in a row. I mean, I guess ever since the ballpark opened. How big a deal is this for you to take the team down there? Well, 
it's I think it's I think it's something that we should do for for the fans in, in the in central Arkansas in the southern part of the state it makes it easy for them to get to a game and uh, you know plus we have we have a lot of kids from that part of the state on our team and it just it's kind of a nice deal plus there's recruits in that area that can run over there and watch us play or we can talk to them in the stands or whatever if they're of age and uh, you know it's uh, I think it's just I think it's good I think it's good for the state it's good for baseball in this state stretch where you've won all these conference games. What do you know about your team's ability to win different ways? Because, you know, there was a high scoring game at Vanderbilt and then the one Friday night and then, you know, like the one day at a low scoring game. Well, I mean this team is uh it's pretty much fearless. They they just they just play and they think they can win and they don't really care how far they're down if you know, if they've got some at bats left, they feel like they can come back and uh, even going into the ninth, I, I really didn't say a whole lot. I said a few things in the eighth. I told them we need to score in the eighth and tie this thing up. And the ninth didn't really say a whole lot, but they were doing all the chit, kind of the chit chatting in there, basically. On you know, it was good to hear. Uh, you know, and I kind of just kind of stood over there and listened. You know, I wanted to see how they acted because uh, I didn't know if we were going to tie the game, win the game, but I just wanted to see how they reacted. Maybe I could talk about it a little bit. But it, it was upbeat, and hey, we're going to find a way to win this game. Been pleased with that. The kind of ownership that they. Oh yeah, I mean it, it's uh, it's better than I would have thought it would have been because we have so many new guys, new guys playing and new leaders. I mean we lost a lot of veterans last year, and you know I can honestly tell you they didn't even know who to pick captains. They didn't know who to pick captains. I mean, you know Casey Opitz wasn't selected as our captain, and he's one of our captains. You know that's the way I feel about it. So and I tell you every coach does too, and I think probably 90% of the players feel that way that he's 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 our captain, one of them for sure. Uh, is there a good heart update? He's feeling a lot better today. Uh, Going to just keep, kind of rehab him. And, uh, you know, he won't play Tuesday. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're hoping that he can swing the bat maybe Thursday, Wednesday. And if he can play Friday, we'll play him Friday. We'll see. They, You know, I, th I think Jordan's done a good job helping us win some games this weekend. And, uh, you know, he'll, he'll stay in the lineup and, you know, until uh, probably until – He's available to go. Yeah, we talked about these midweek games can be a big challenge, especially when you're coming up a big series win. And I was with Ramblings, 23 and 20, which is pretty good. Yep. The schedule those guys have to play in all the road games. They're 16 and 8 in the SWAT. Yeah, they they have so, a good team. They have good athletes. They have a good team. It's one of their better teams. Um, you know, Southern's really good in that league. I mean, they, they knocked off LSU a couple weeks ago pretty handily at their park at Southern's home field. Um, I think the league, you know, the top half of the league is strong. The bottom half might be. You know, not as good as it normally is, but uh, Grambling's one of the teams that uh, they, they they can beat you. How about you saying the person? Any thoughts on Tony's team and what yeah. he's done there in two years? I think they've done a really nice job, honestly. They have uh, they pitch really well. They throw a lot of strikes. They don't give you too much freebie stuff. You know, I know the lefty got a little bit wild, but, I mean, his stuff is big league now. And, uh you know, they're going to win a lot of games down the stretch. You know, I, they've probably got six home and three away, and they've been really good at home this year. So, uh, obviously, they're going to be in the SEC tournament. Uh, they're going to be in a regional. They have a high RPI. The strength of schedule was five going into today. We were six, so they're probably four, and we're probably five. Uh, RPI was, what, like 10 or somewhere in there. I don't know what it was. So, they, they just go take care of business, and they will because they have the arms to do it. Um, they're they're going to be fine, and they haven't been in a regional since when, like 2005, something like that. So that's uh, th that's what I see from now. I I, I see that they'll they're going to be they're going to whatever regional they go to, you're not going to want to see them show up with that pitching staff. Yeah, I talked to Tony. He said he thinks you guys will be back in the World Series championships. Right? Yeah, that figures. That he put that pressure on us like that. that. Tell him I said thanks. I think he's gone. I already talked to him. Yeah, I, I'm just kidding. Don't, don't call him Bob. <laughs>